Hello everybody, and how are you doing today? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, because today is a very special day for priests like me. It's Easter, and that is the birthday of the church. So, may I extend every one of you a very happy Easter. Now, I may have been housebound for a year and three weeks, but who's counting? <laughs> but today I'm especially delighted to announce that I'm making the Italian job. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. No, not the one involving blowing up gold bullion trucks in Milano, but one involving two rather spectacular volcanoes, Mount Etna at Catania and Mount Vesuvius at Naples. A fellow who uses the name Fried Chicken on YouTube, he asked me to make this flight and he said there is some really pretty scenery en route. He said there is the spectacular volcano of Vesuvius in Naples and he pointed out that he lives just south of Naples near the Amalfi Coast. And that, by the way, is where the flight path would cross over. Well, who could resist such an invitation? But before I get started with the planning and pre-flight stage, I want to thank Cinco Estrellas Fabulosas for the Last flight suggestion, Pharaoh to Lisbon in Portugal. And did you know my flight was visible from the ground? No kidding. In fact, Cinco Estrellas Fabulosas saw me flying over and caught me on camera. What's that? You don't believe me? Ha! Would you like to see the video he made of my flight over his house? Right then, here it is. Father Ted's here. Hello there. And how are you all doing today? <laughs> Isn't that a blast? Thank you for that video. It made my day. And by the way, everybody, you can see that video again because I put a link to it below. Now, as part of the preparation for the Italian job, I went online and I discovered that EasyJet makes that flight every day. Flight U2-4802 or EZY-4802, either one. They fly it using an Airbus 320, but I suspect Ryanair 186 can do better. What do you think? Next, I went to FlightAware to check on the route, and this is what I found. It looks like flight level 300 is about the cruising altitude. Then over to windy.com to check out the weather. It looks like the wind is blowing straight down runway 8 at Catania, so I don't think there's any question there. And here's the runway at Catania. Over to Naples, and here the wind is 200 degrees at 8 knots. And that means I shall probably be using an approach for runway 24 at Naples. Out of curiosity, I had a look at Google Earth to see what the topography is like. And here you can see the huge volcano at Mount Etna. 
The airport is just south of the volcano and the departure route promises to show some spectacular sights of Mount Etna as we pass. Over to Naples and here the airport is just north of Vesuvius itself. It's a smaller volcano but let me tell you, it wasn't small when it destroyed the town of Pompeii at the bottom of it in AD 79. The flight route will bring us over the island of Capri and then over Sorrento with the Amalfi Coast to the south. The flight route will then take us around the back of Mount Vesuvius to intercept the ILS glide slope for a landing on runway 24. Now I'm going to have to get a camera ready to shoot some exterior shots from the cockpit because we're going to be flying close to both Etna and Vesuvius. You know, back in the early 50s and just a few years after the war, I stayed a couple of months or so in Sorrento at a house on, well, Joseph Green Street. How's that? Although I suspect the locals would prefer their version and pronunciation of the, de of the name. Via Giuseppe Verde. How's that? Now I remember Sorrento having steep narrow streets lined with orange trees and having a delightful harbour that ran boats over to Capri. And Pompeii was quite different then to what it is today. But most of all, I remember the weather was warm. And since here in England, the weather has taken a decidedly wintry turn, and the weather people are predicting some sleet and snow for tomorrow, Easter Monday. Can you believe that? So a nice little flight to sunny Italy sounds like it will suit me just fine. Well, Enough of my meandering down memory lane. It's time to go to Simbrief and make a flight plan, right? Well, here we are. Airline is Ryanair or Romeo Yankee Romeo. Flight number is 186. We're departing Lima, India, Charlie, Charlie and arriving at Lima, India, Romeo, November. And our alternate is Lima, India, Romeo, Foxtrot. Rome, in case of an eruption or an inconvenient ash cloud. The airframe is a Boeing 737-800. And there's the tail registration. Echo India, Echo November India. We have a full aeroplane today with 184 on board and we're carrying one ton of cargo. Half a ton up the front and the other half in the rear hold. I checked the latest flight plans and this one popped up. It's departing on runway 08 at Catania and arrives on runway 24 at Naples. We will be departing from stand 333 right here and we will be making the PCOD 6 Alpha departure. This is the departure route. At Naples we're going to use the AMSOR 1 Victor approach with the transition bento. We'll use the ILS Zulu 24 approach at Naples and after landing we plan to use stand 15 to allow the passengers to disembark. Well, that's the route. So let's save this and generate the flight plan. And there it is. Flight level 300 with an airtime of 52 minutes, 
and we're going to be needing 6.1 tons of fuel. Not to mention the dozen cases of complimentary Dom Perignon we will be carrying for our special passengers, right? <laughs> of course. All right then, let's get ourselves on board and prepare the cockpit for the Italian job. Come on in, please take your seat and let's get ready for the flight. We've already done all of our planning, all of the preparations and pre-flight have been done, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, first thing we do, we turn on the battery, get the fuel pumps going, and then we turn on the APU right there. This little needle will move up. This is the exhaust gas temperature that this records. It'll swing up and then it will drop down to about four. And then this light will come on. And then we can switch our main generator bus to the power coming then from the auxiliary power unit, which is in the tail of the aircraft. That will give us 115 volts and it will allow us to turn on the galley so that we can start to produce all of that posh cuisine that Ryanair is famous for. <laughs> ah, yes, if only, eh? If only. There it is. Now, there's the galley switch, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belts. The air stairs are already down and the forward service hatch is open. So now we'll turn on the left and the right window heat, the left and the right probes going out, and there's the electrical pumps. Gonna turn on the APU bleed. And as soon as I turn these three switches on, you will hear the blowers. There they go. So now the blowers are coming out and giving us air conditioning. All right, now. Our altitude for flying today, our cruise altitude is 30,000 feet. So we'll put that in and the airport elevation is 294 so we'll put 300 feet in for the landing altitude and this of course is for the cabin prep, uh, pressurization. All right, strobe on steady, anti-collision light is on. Good, we have 115 volts coming in so now we'll need to align the IRS so that we can get the programming done on the FMC. Now we're here at stand 333 at Catania, that's L-I-C-C. And we're about to put the information in, so we will enter our information and it is L-I-C-C, according to the charts, 333 through 336 should be 37.28.2 and he's 15.04.1. So, that's that, put it into the temporary and now the information is in. Now we go to our route page, so we are going L-I-C-C and we're going to go to L-I-R-N. We are Ryanair 186, go to the next page and now let's have a look at our 
routing and we're going to go to PCOD first so and then we take the T111 until we get to Budin, B-U-D-I-N and then at Budin we go direct to Dired, D-I-R-E-D and then we go direct to Della then direct to saw and that is our route activate activate now for departure we think it's going to be on runway zero 08 so let's go ahead and tune in to the ground and request our IFR code shall we continue around Ryanair 186 IFR to Cappadocino ready to copy Ryanair 186 is clear to Cappadocino airport as file fly runway heading climb and maintain 7000 departure frequency is 119.25 score 4571 Squawking 4571. Ryanair 186, clear to Cappadocino Airport as final fly runway heading, climb and maintain 7000 departure on 119.25, squawk 4571. Ryanair 186, red back correct, contact ground on 129.725. Contain around, Ryanair 186, ready to taxi IFR. Good, we have our clearance, we have our taxi clearance. So, we will be departing runway 8. We're going to be leaving on the Peco 6A departure. Execute that. Go to arrivals. We're going to be coming in on ILS ILS Zulu 24 and we'll be using the Saw 1 Victor. So Saw 1 Victor, that is this one. We'll transition at Bento. And we'll check the legs. Orbit 7797, clear to Basel Alassane International Airport as far and fly runway heading, climb and maintain 7000 departure on 119.25, score 5761. Orbit 7797, red back correct, contact ground on 12.725. Well, we have a good flight plan in there, everything checks, there are no breaks. So we'll put our fix in, which of course is going to be L I R N. We'll want a four mile, ten mile, thirty mile radius. Go to descent to the forecast, and we'll put that information in.
The altimeter is 1016 at our destination. And now we'll get the descent information. That's uh, 316 at 16. Three oh seven at thirteen and two ninety two at seven. And we've got that in good. Now our planned fuel that is two eight six four plus the Run up and everything else is 2574. That comes to 5438 or 5.4. Reserves are 2.8. Cost index is 6. We're flying at cruise altitude of 3. Hundred flight level three hundred. The average cruise wind is three twelve at twenty four. The transition altitude is eight thousand feet. And execute that. N one limit twenty degrees. Nice and warm there. Will be flaps 10. And there's the information. So, I've got 9,000 feet on altitude because we do not know what the clearance is going to be. We will be departing on runway 8, so that is... 081 got that our uh, F uh, M V2 is going to be 145 all right let's see if that works out We have two green lights. Good. And when we come in for landing, it is 109.5. Good. Got that in. VOR 1. And your damper is on. Right. Let's have a quick look around. Yes, all of our passengers are on. Bring up the stairs and let's close the doors because now we are ready to do a pushback and start. And we want our nose to be to the left. So, last check, lights, everything is checked. All right. All pre-flight is done. This parking brake is set. Fuel is checked. Windows locked. Both seat belt signs are on. Check. Door lights are out, MCP, takeoff thrust, all check. CDU pre-flight completed, rudder air alarm chimp is check. And anti-collision lights are on, check. So, we are ready now to do a pushback and start. So let's ask the nice people on the ground there to do that. Carpet to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start straight back. 
Brakes off. We're going to start generator one today. So we're going to turn off the air conditioning so that we've got more air to go ahead and power the turbines to start. Brakes released, here we go. All right, now switching on engine number one. We're looking down here for 24. The start valve is open, the low pressure oil light is on but it will come off in a moment. As soon as that gets to 24, bring in the fuel and now we're watching the exhaust gas temperature build up. Everything is looking good. Oil pressure light has gone off. And we'll look for 115 volts on generator one. 115 volts. Right, switching now and starting engine number two. Start valve light, light has come on. Looking for the build up on that. When it gets to 24, I'll introduce the fuel. Parking brake on. Fuel introduced. We're looking for 115 volts up here. Alright, steering pin is disconnected. Watch for the slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Thank you, Roger. And things are looking good. The low pressure light has come off, everything is looking good. Engines have started. We have 115 volts. So now we're going to switch to the main engines. Turn on the air conditioning to the back. Turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. The light has gone off. So everything is looking good. All right, going to flaps 10, taxi lights are on, attendance, make sure everybody is ready for departure, and recall is check, flight controls check, flaps, green light check. Stabilizer trim is correct. Auto brake, RTO check. Speed brake lever down and detent check. Ground equipment is clear. We are ready to taxi. So, I hope you're buckled up. Yes, you are. So, brake off and give a little bit of power to get ourselves moving here. And we'll swing over here to the left. Watching out, of course, always for kamikaze vehicles. And we follow this alpha line all the way down to the end of the runway. It's a lovely day here in Catania. By the way, this is a very fine, detailed airport scenery. Highly recommend this. It's really good. Ah, and over there is Mount Etna. We're going to be flying right by that.
to have a blue sky with warm sunshine. Sicil is a really good place for that. Okay, we're getting ready to make our turn. And then we'll get our takeoff clearance and we'll be on our way.
you'd like to take a nap, you go right ahead and I'll wake you up when we're on the final approach coming in across Sorrento. How's that? Okay? All right.
are going to be vectored in this direction go cutters across to intersect the ILS approach and then we'll come in to land at the airport which is just at the other side of Vesuvius
top of those hills, I hope I know that ATC knows what they're doing.
crosswind. Lights 
down. And seatbelt sign is off. All right, that's looking good. Cleanup is complete. Right, stairs and doors are open. Everybody's off. Well, there you have it. We've made it to Naples. It was, as I predicted, going to be a vectored approach coming in. And sometimes I wonder about the artificial intelligence inside P3D doing all of that extra routing when it was so totally unnecessary. But there you are. We're here, and that's the main thing. And there's all this traffic, whew, well, there's quite a bit of uh, ground traffic to contend with. Kamikaze, all of it. Well, no matter. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Join me on the next one. So let's complete the shutdown. All right. Galley off and Right, shutdown is complete. We made it.